Hey everybody, we are back. So excited to be here for season two, episode one. Everybody excited? Am I the only one excited? Woo! I think we're all excited. Yeah, good. All right, excellent. Well, I'm the only so, one that's woo excited, <laughs> apparently. Okay. No one else is woo excited. So, uh, as most of you should know, or some of you should know, most of you should know, we did do a poll on our Patreon to determine what decks we are going to be playing today. Uh, and so we have the winners. It's exciting. Yeah, it's exciting. exciting. So these We've are been the away for Everything's so exciting. long. Everything's exciting. So I am excited. So excited for this game. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, we're going to get into the game right away. I am playing City C Brood Tyrant Reanimator. So I'm going to make some zombies. Uh, I'm playing uh, my awesome Niv Mizzet Perum Storm build that you lovely Patreons voted. Thank you. This is the one I really wanted to play. And I'll be going second in turn order. I'm next. Third, as it were. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm playing Lazav the Multifarious. Uh, I called it Horseman and somebody gave me crap for it, so it's a Mesmeric Orb combo. Nah. It's it's men without horses. It's, it's men without it's, horses. It's, our, it's anarchy. Four horse. <laughs> four horses. Four horse. No men. No men. Okay. Uh, and I am going fourth or last, as it were, in turn order. Uh, and I am playing Sedon Cross and Protector Druid Ball, uh, which is a creature based combo deck that looks to make uh, a bunch of mana. So a hopefully, bunch of mana. hopefully it does that. <laughs> All right. All righty. Oh, I'm going to start us off. Well, I'm going to draw a card. You should do that. That's a good one. I, I am going to play a Bayou. Bayou. <laughs> so, it's a good uh, game. Season's off to yeah, good game. Uh, uh, and then it. I'm going to cast a Carpet of Flowers. Oh, no. That's bad against my deck. Yeah. And then in my uh, second main phase, I'm going to choose Bill and pass the turn. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> uh, I'm going to draw a card for turn. And then I'm going to play uh, an Island. And then <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna think about our season two guys. Yeah, oh, nice. me too. Yeah. What have we done? Put them oh, put them back nice. like that, and then I'm gonna draw that card. Not shuffling. Ooh. 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 Powerful. Ooh. I'm then gonna play a Mox Diamond. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Here it goes. Yeah, Pitching good. an island. Ha! Don't get that one, Jan. <laughs> okay. And then pass the turn. Whoa. 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 Powerful. Mm. You expect okay. a duress or something? <laughs> the draw. Uh, I'm just going to play this Polluted Delta. And uh, yeah, I'm going to call that a turn. Right. That's really good. Polluted draw. Delta. Uh, I'm going to play a Forest and I'm going to cast a Land War Elves. And pass yes. the turn. Excellent. I'm going to untap. And draw this card here. All right, I'm gonna pick Jerry. Oh, darn it! I'm gonna make him just blue. I'm gonna play this here, Bloodstain Mire, and then I'm gonna do something exciting. Uh oh! I'm gonna use the blue tap one. I'm gonna cast Winds of Rebuke, targeting Jerry's Mox Diamond. Effects. <laughs> oh man! Uh, Dispel. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> I'm just getting so ready to mess up. Let's. Oh yeah, it's each player. Look at mm -hmm. that. I know what my cards do. Uh, cool. I'm going to pass turn. Cool. I like not having a mill. Untap. Maybe. Draw. Might be good. Mana Confluence. Mm. Meaning. Bill? <laughs> <laughs> At least it's not an island. Yeah. Um. I'm going to take a pain off of the mana confluence, going down to 39, Ooh, adding man. a blue with it. I'm going to transmute muddle the mixture. Mm. Mm. Well, uh, I don't have a stifle, so. Uh, I don't either, unfortunately. I also do not. I'm going to search my library. Uh, I'm going to get Is It Signet to hand, and then I uh, can't do anything else, so I'm going to pass the turn. Very modest, Jeremiah. Very modest. Uh, this is six pips. Turn, yeah. I'm going to crack this polluted delta, go to 39 myself, and find uh, something, probably. I'm going to get this water grave tapped at tapped. the end of your turn, and uh, move to uh, my untap step. You know, you could have had it enter a play untapped. You're right. We're going to draw. <laughs> <laughs> that is a true fact, as some would say. Factual. <laughs> draw. Uh, I'm going to play 
a swamp. A basic swamp. You know, you could play that tapped, right? As it were. Actually, I actually yeah. do not have that option. You, you really know, you can tap it right now and waste the mana, right? Ruin You're right. All my fun. I'm going to cast. <laughs> Nobody's having fun today. Lazav the Multifarious. That's a 1 3. I he can't only even cost shock two. it. Isn't yeah. that crazy? I believe so. Uh, any effects? No. no. Okay. When he ETBs, I'm going to surveil one. Can you survey, please? It's a Sur French word. Sur survey. Is that what you're trying to say? Survey. Survey. There you go. I am survey. going to leave this on top, actually. Oh. Yeah. Good card. It's, it's, a, it's an okay one. And I'm going to pass the turn. To me? Okay. Yeah. Oh, nice. Sweet. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna play Forest. Bet you didn't see that one coming. And I'm gonna cast Set on. Oh, he's Person holding. Protect. He's holding the mire. Yeah, I have uh, yeah. any effects uh -huh. to Set yeah. and I Yeah, I totally no yeah, go ahead. Set and uh, then Seton. that is all I'm going to do. Pass right. the turn. Uh, in this turn, I'm gonna crack this Bloodstained Mire going to 39. Uh, so I'm gonna get this Underground Sea. Um, under the Sea. No. Okay, and then I'm gonna continue to pass Bill's turn. Thanks. What? Alright, I'm gonna untap. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna keep draw this card. That's a nice one. Uh, I'm gonna pick Elliot. Yes! <laughs> Didn't choose me. Uh, you could crop one. rotate your uh, no need. To, to add a black. Uh-oh. Um, I think he's gonna be casting yeah, that's his Nagashi. I'm gonna play Exotic Orchard. Mm. That's the one that's great. It's one that no. makes one. Uh, add one mana of any, any color. Of you can tap opponent. your colors. Oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's literally yeah. it's literally any color. So oh, yeah. wow. Good. Oh, wow. Um, his doesn't even deal with damage. I thought I was going to make the hard decision right. of who to give a 1-1-2, one, one, but I'm not. That's a different card. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to make green, blue, black. Whatever. Black. I'm going to cast City C. Brood, Tyrant. No response. No offense. No response. Trigger. Yes, sir. What are you triggering? Me. <laughs> I will mill the top three cards of my library. Mm -hmm. A Verdant Catacombs, an Elvish Spirit Guide, and a Mox de Chromo. So I'm going to get one... Trigger CDC again. Get one zombie. One a two, two. One two two zombie. That's a Michael Jackson. That is a Michael Jackson thriller uh, zombie. I was going to say, I believe that is. Thriller? That's what I said. <laughs> Uh, and then I'm going to pass the turn. To me, you say. Yes. Uh, actually, at the end of your turn, I have an effect. Uh oh. oh. I'm going to tap Set and Cross and Protector for a green and cast Crop Rotation, sacrificing my forest. Responses? No effects. Yeah, I got nothing. Well, that happens. Cool. Okay, and uh, off of the Crop Rotation, I'm going to find Gaia's Cradle. Uh, I have no further effects, so Jerry, you can go to your turn. Did you uh, purposely wait before I untap to prevent a counterspell from countering your crop rotation and going down a forest? You know what, Jerry? I think I, I think that might have been the situation. Okay, cool. I'm going to draw this card. That's good. Who wants to guess if I have strip mine or not in my deck? Do you know what's great about the card I just drew? Is it strip mine? No, it's mountain. It means he doesn't get an extra mana. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, we're That's well a difference. beyond that, Jerry. <laughs> Is it safe? Is it Signet? Called it. Wow, so good at this card game. What is this? So, what are we doing about this guy's cradle? Uh, I'll tell you what. About this guy. I'm going to tell you what we're doing about this guy's cradle. I'm going to cast Light of Hand. Oh, yeah, you got me, man. Got him. Yep. 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 Do the thing. Slight your hands. Look at the top two. <laughs> Put one of them in my it's hand the and the other face. on the bottom of the library. Good. That's you did the turn. I'm gonna you did tap. What did I do? And draw from it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow, that card looks familiar. I'm gonna play a Verdant Catacombs. Ooh. Is and, that the uh, card you kept oh, on top? So Maybe. So many catacombs. I'm going to crack it right away. Go to 38. I'm gonna find an underground sea. Under the sea. <sighs> did he make you, it? You knew twice. It was coming. He did. He did. Unsuccessful. Season two means two under to see jokes. And then, uh, you know, Jerry did a thing earlier that I kind of liked. Uh, it's a little different. I'm going to transmute shred memory. Two shreds, Ooh. you say. Two memory, you say. No. Shred memory, say. I have no effects. <laughs> yeah, Zero you... effects. 
I'm gonna tutor this mesmeric orb to my hand. So exciting. Spice. I'm no spoilers. Pretty bad for me because I tap all of my things constantly. It's really good for me because <laughs> I want to make zombies. Zombos? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pass the turn. Okay. I'm gonna untap and I'm gonna draw a card. Is it Gaius Cradle? Okay. Uh, no, that's over here. Already. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna play a forest. Mm -hmm. How do mm -hmm. I want to do this? Uh, one, two, three, four. Mm. I'm going to cast Beast Whisperer. Ooh, yes, that's sir. Really bad for us. I have no effects. All right. No effects. Uh, I'm going to tap Beast Whisperer for a green uh, with Seton's ability and cast Heritage Druid. Draw a card. Uh, I might have a response to that one. So Ooh. in the process of triggering yes, this trigger, card, it is on cast. Yeah, it I on think cast. I already waited too long. To what? Do stuff, but it's fine. So, yeah, you can have this. You're good, man. Keep so, draw cards. So draw a card off of Beast Whisperer. Interesting. This seems bad. It seems like uh, fine. Just oh, gonna just gonna draw cards. We're not dead yet. Four. Famous last words. Uh this is not. That's fine though. Uh, so one minute floating, I'm gonna cast Reclamation Sage, trigger Beast Whisperer. Attempt to draw a card. Yeah, got it. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So one mana floating, uh, but I'm going to trigger Reclamation Sage, targeting. Is it Zig? Ooh. Yep. Whoa. Okay. Uh, with the one mana floating, I'm going to cast a Birds of Paradise. Trigger Beast Whisper. Not Heritage. <laughs> draw. It's not a druid. It isn't. It's, it's a bird. A Druid. All right, uh, and with that, I'm going to pass the turn. I'm gonna untap. I did it. I'm gonna draw a card. Ooh, this is exciting. <clears throat> I. I'm going to elect to not use carpet flowers in my oh. po wow. pre combat main phase. Mm, interesting. Move to combat. Yep. I'm going to declare attacks at one Jeremiah Moz. <laughs> Whoa. Trigger CDC Brood Time. Wait, 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 wait. So you're going to attack me when he's not going to block anyway and he just did all that? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> sure. Sure, man. Uh, oh, I have trigger. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to cast Vampiric Tutor. Interesting. Effects? Nope. Uh, nope. Effects. Okay. So, Vampiric Tutor resolves. I've gotten this card put on top of my library. What Knock is all the it? cards off. I'm all exciting. Hold it up. Hold it up. Hold it up. Uh, CC Brew Tyrant Trigger. Yep. Resolves. Uh, Still no yeah. stifle. Okay. It's looking um, awfully good. Right in the top now. three. Razaketh the Foul Blood. Wow! How Life did and he Death. Get there? And Mox Diamond. Wow, those are well, So I will cards. make another Zambi. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, and I'm currently attacking um, yep. Jerry for. Yeah. So I'm going to take five, go down to 34. Oh, Jan is also at 37. I'm at 37. Yep. Yes. Vampiric Tutor. Uh, Alright, so. Let me know when you're moving to your second main phase. I'm moving to my second main phase. Okay, before you do that, I have a response. Sure. Uh, I'm going to tap Heritage Druid and for a green and attempt to Nature's Clinger and Carpet Flowers. Whoa. He didn't use it in oh, his pre combat main phase. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, that's fine. Okay. okay. So you, you gain four life. 41. Wow, Jan's on the throne now. Bill. Wow, Bill, come on. <sighs> Need to slide in life gain. <laughs> Cast a lion's eye diamond. Oh no! Darn. <laughs> yeah, I see why he didn't care about his carpet of flowers. But I have, I have no effects. Yeah, I got none. Well, I mean, if he has reanimate, or if he has specifically necromancy, he still can't cast it. So <laughs> okay, sure. I yeah. don't know. No, that's no, I, I like that, it. That is true. It's in, oh man, this is such a weird spot. Okay, mm. we're going to try it. We're going to try it. We're putting all our cards on the table. Okay. I'm going to cast Demonic Tutor. Okay. Maintain priority. Uh, 
crack lion's eye diamond for oh, black. That looks so good. Oh. So you got three black yeah. in the mana pool? Yeah. So I'm going to discard Limdal's Vault, Tainted Pack, and Moon Death Mantle. Okay. Those are good cards too. Jiminy. <laughs> Okay, so, okay. Uh, so I'm gonna get this mystery card. Mm, with a mystery. Three black mana. Three black, three black mana. mana, right there. I'm gonna spend one and I'm gonna cast Reanimate. That's the one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you got it. I'm gonna target Razaketh the Foul Blooded. Yes, sir. Yeah. Please uh, Take lose. Eight. Eight. I'm gonna lose eight. I'm back on the throne, baby. Uh, man, now. 33. 33, because I'm great at math. I'm gonna lose a lot more life. Hmm, interesting. Hopefully, all of it. <laughs> yeah. Please That's lose 33 life. Uh,. So he's two black. So, so like two two black floating. If he how? finds Flash Hulk, he can't cast. That's Flash. where I'm at right now. Yeah. So he can't. Well, hmm. I don't know. I don't want to talk it out in case we give him any ideas. <laughs> All right. Uh, I am going to propose a shortcut. I'm going to sacrifice my three. Oh, three. Okay. All three. three. Six. So I'm going to lose three. six life. Okay. Twenty-seven. I'm going to put Sidisi back in my command zone. Yes, sir. I'm going to go search out three cards. All right, so I have gotten these three lovely Magic the Gathering cards. Mm, those are nice sleeves. I, I know, thank you. I picked them up the other day. They're gorgeous art. I wish I was playing Bitter Blossom in this deck. Uh, no, so don't. I'm going to play a basic island for my turn. Oh, no, he didn't play his land? Oh, <laughs> we're losing to a basic <laughs> island tutored off of Razakan. So, yeah, it's too light. Is... It's almost a shock land. Oh, my God, it's so much worse <laughs> than a shock land. Uh, so I'm going to add a blue... Spend one of my black and cast Flash. It's past priority. Past priority. Past priority. Uh, and I'm going to Flash for you. That's the Hulk. Okay, right, that's show us. Yeah. Show us. All right. Trigger. Trigger. Here we go. So All true. right. Uh, so off of the Protean Hulk, I am going to get a Viscera Seer and a Phyrexian Delver. Uh, trigger Phyrexian Delver. Targeting Protean Hulk. Okay, this, is, this got real interesting because he has this black mana floating that I forgot about. Hmm, interesting. And he thinks Jerry has a bounce spell. Oh, yeah, that's disastrous. Oh, sh no, no. <laughs> Wait, how does he win? Does he win with Micaeus? Yeah, it was Micaeus... But he can do it at instant speed. Right, but problem. does Micaeus give himself... Oh, no, wait, yeah, he can do it at instant speed. Yeah, it, he just but does like, it. But, like, with... The walking ballista on the stack in his graveyard, you could chain of vapor the Machaeus. Does the Machaeus give himself Chain of Vapor goes to hand. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Does... he can't recast Machaeus. Yeah. So does the Machaeus give himself undying? No, it's other right. other non human right. creatures. So you can chain of vapor the Machaeus. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because then he can't sack it to Razakath or Viscer's here. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Uh, I can most certainly sack it to Razakath. But, but it won't it... come back. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, th okay. this yeah, turn awesome. anyway. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, so trigger Protean Hulk. Yes, back. Got, you also take yeah, seven also take more. Seven. I also take seven. Twenty. Twenty. I don't need life. <laughs> That's ten more tutors off Razzka. Uh, and then I'm going to sacrifice Protean Hulk to Viscera Seer. Uh, so I'm going to get a Micaiah the Unhallowed. Micaiah the Unhallowed. And a Walking Ballista. And a Scrabble. You remember. I remember. <laughs> Okay, uh, so now the stack is empty. You have yes. priority because that's how Magic the Gathering. Works. That is how Magic the Gathering works. <laughs> that means <laughs> you get to do something. Uh, so I am going to sacrifice my Walking Ballista to Razakath or Viscera. My Razakath. Fascinating. I'm going to go to eighteen. Okay. So all right. So how does the triggers work? Do you resolve the Razakath tutor first or the Walk or Micaeus uh, first? Uh, it, it would be Micaeus first. Because it goes on the stack because that uh, hits the is, graveyard. This triggers because yeah, it's, it's, the yeah, same, yeah, it's, it's the same thing as Viscera. Okay, yeah, so. so Walking Ballista hits the graveyard. Micaeus trigger on the stack, uh, taking a, uh, a damage off my mana confluence, going to 33, adding a blue, attempt to chain of vapor, Micaeus. Interesting. Uh, I am going to respond by sacrificing Micaeus to Razaketh. Okay. You got it. Sure. So you lose another two. Oh, 16. And uh, Chain of Vapor fizzles, so yep. it doesn't. Okay. Can't so be copied. Okay, uh, so I'm going to resolve my Razaketh Tutor. Um, is it okay if we shortcut them to resolve both? Yeah. Okay, yeah, sure. go for it. All right. So I'm going to get these two cards, uh, and I'm going to put them into my hand. 
And then I believe we are resolving this walking ballista. Yes. Yep. yes okay. So it has a 1-1 one, one counter. I have some dice here. Okay. Uh, I would like to spend my one black mana to cast Dark Ritual. Yes. No response. No oh, effects, yeah. I'd like to spend two of my black mana to cast Animate Dead. Yep. Ah. Targeting Micaeus the Unhallowed. I mean, that was pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you now, uh, all right. Can you, can you please demonstrate the loop? <laughs> so now I would like to remove the plus one plus one counter from Walking Ballista to deal Jeremiah Ma's one damage. I'm at thirty two. Okay. Then I will sacrifice Walking Ballista to Viscerous here. You don't have to do it this time. It actually just dies, because no. it's only a. Oh nope. Micaeus is back. Micaeus is back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I would like to trigger uh, is undying. undying on Micaeus on the walking ballista to come back with a plus one plus one counter. Mm. Then I would like to remove a plus one plus one counter. Do a Jerry one. I propose uh, doing this enough times to kill all of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, got that it, friend. That's pretty good, I guess. You know. Whew. All right. <laughs> well, that, yeah. That's actually, I was, yeah. I was just gonna, that. I was just yeah. gonna do this on my turn. Oh, my Whoa, that's like, <laughs> I'm just gonna. Yeah. If it right. got back, fine. All right. Yeah, cool. I have Mesmeric Orb, but yeah, we weren't so, we were um, particularly yeah, close. I was going to be able to do it. Before you pack this up, uh, <laughs> yep. the thing that I was going to mention yes. is in response to the Chain of Vapor, so you had um, Walking Ballista was in your graveyard. Yes. Uh, Micaeus was in play. I'm just kidding. Anime Dead and Dark Ritual were, were in, my in your library. <laughs> um, so something that you could have done in response to Jerry's Chain of Vapor on the Micaeus, you could sacrifice the Phyrexian Delver, trigger Undying in response, sacrifice Micaeus, then have the Undying Trigger return to chaos again. And, oh! You know, that would have been a much easier thing. This is yeah. my first time playing a Hulk deck. <laughs> uh, there were Hulk was like one of the primary win conditions, so yeah. Um, I was, my, my big concern is that my only other reanimation effects in the deck uh, were both Animate Dead and Necromancy, which I would have had enough mana to play, but I'm like, if like Bill has another random destroy target enchantment effect, <laughs> I'm like, how do I get into this one? Um, and then the other option was Dread Return. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Which yeah. I think I actually, if I let the... I don't actually quite have enough to... Um, mm -hmm. I'm one creature short. Well, if you were able to put it into your graveyard, oh, then you actually, could sacrifice no. all three of these, trigger Undying, because none of these are humans. Yeah, that's uh, true. And then they just come back into play, and you get a thing. <laughs> but yeah. I guess that's... No, because that, no. that, that would be returning in the case, so that would actually... Yeah. Work. Never mind. Uh, well, I no, I, yeah. It seemed good until I couldn't cast it. <laughs> well, actually, theoretically, I wait until the Walking Ballista comes back. I Dread Return with the Walking Ballista and these two, targeting Micaeus. Mm. Uh, but then you don't. But then I don't have yeah. the Walking Ballista. Yeah, so there's no way to do it in Dread Return. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dread Return is the most awkward one, but... It uh, is. That yeah. was my last resort after. <laughs> I mean, you... You did it. <laughs> you you, uh, you won. It was surprisingly I, resilient. Yeah, yeah, you trudged through quite a bit of interaction. Uh, I yeah. thought that maybe taking you off the carpet of flowers would be enough to kneecap you and yeah, you didn't have enough mana. Like I, I guess it was angle shooting because it is the yeah. really only if you had. I mean, if he didn't have the LED. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, if he didn't have the LED, you, you got him. Like, so that's the kind of the thing. So the worst case scenario, if I don't win the game right there, I have an 8-8. Eight, eight. Yeah, uh, yep, a couple of true. movies. So I just go on like that plan until I get to yeah. a point where I can. Except I was still at forty. <laughs> Actually, my actual, <laughs> my other plan, if I didn't have enough mana to do that, uh, was to use Razaketh. Uh, it was going to be to get a dark ritual so that I could toxic deluge. Oh, for two. Yeah, that was my backup no, plan. Three. Yeah, that was my backup uh, plan. Was the toxic deluge. Yeah, I that's had sweet. All of yeah. the dorks in my hand were in play. Uh, the last three cards in my hand were two basic forests and a soul of the harvest. I had um, mm, an island and a curiosity to combo with Niv Mizzet and Bright of Flame on top of my deck to make sure I had the right amount of mana. So, like, I really liked this deck. This is my first time playing a reanimator deck. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I think I might like tool it a bit and like maybe take out Flash Hulk for like more like reanimator re type, re type things. But um, you just won with Flash Hulk. Yeah, you just, I did just won with Flash Hulk. Hulk. <laughs> just I did Flash Hulk. Play Flash Hulk. <laughs> it feels bad. I tried That's so hard. As soon as like Hulk got unbanned, everyone's like, Flash Hulk is so great. And I'm like, I don't want to play Flash Hulk. <laughs> and here we are. I'm hey, like, I don't play uh, Flash Hulk. I play. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know about you guys, but I, I had fun with these decks. Mm -hmm. This definitely isn't the last time you're going to no. see Lazav, for, for sure. sure. I, I, I want to uh, see what Lazav is. I was really excited by this Mesmeric Orb. Cause I'm like, I was yeah, so you know, I, I had the Mesmeric Orb, and I had a Windfall, but I couldn't find a nice time to fire off the Windfall. Yeah. Windfall actually, I think, would have screwed me. 
Yeah. Because it would have gotten yeah. rid of the tutor, tutor, uh, demonic tutor, vampiric tutor, and the LED. Oof. Yeah. 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 Okay. It would have hurt real bad. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to play this one again. Hopefully I don't break on basic forests uh, when I'm trying to draw <laughs> yeah. more dudes. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in for uh, Season 2, Episode 1, our premiere. Hopefully this was worth the wait. Um, we had a lot of fun filming it, and uh, thank you for everybody who voted on the decks. Yeah. Um, we'll probably do another contest like this in the future. Uh, I know that we'll, again, as I said before, we'll probably play these decks again in some <laughs> way, shape, or form. So, um, if you want to vote on the next contest, remember, Patreon. Support us. You do have to be a five dollar patron. Yes, but but it gives you access to a bunch of other cool it's, stuff. Don't you want to? What, 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 what gesture? I guess support, support the pretty yes. face. So, so yeah, Tell um, you what, you give us enough money, we can replace Elliot's face and facial structure. It's going to require a lot. Keep with me here. But so like, yeah, but... comment, subscribe, uh, ring the bell. Check us out on Patreon, on Instagram. We have a lot of stuff going on. And check Twitter. out our Discord as well. Yes. Oh, our Discord. Chatting with our fans. Very, very active. Uh, we have a very close-knit community. Um, lots of people just throwing ideas back and forth about various decks. That Sometimes people at. die. Sometimes people die. It's mostly Jerry. Anyway, uh, this is getting so, very rambly. We'll see you next week. <laughs>